Hi everybody, hope you're having a good Tuesday. This is uh, February 24th, 2009, and we are going to be working on an origami model of an angelfish today. Uh, so if you'll get your paper ready, uh, we can go ahead and get started. Just like the other model that we did yesterday, today's model is going to start out uh, using that water bomb base and the way that works is you're creating a series of creases to enable you to do that base fold and then from there we will be creating our angel fish. Uh, th this particular base um, starts out with the paper with the white side facing up and what you're going to do is to fold it in half on the diagonal in both directions. You're folding it down, you know, over the white side, like that. And then the next thing you're going to do is open it up so that the colored side now is facing up and fold it over in half in both directions on the rectangle, in the rectangle shape. First like that and then like that. So that you have a series of folds that um, go in each direction. And what that enables you to do is to then take this piece and um, push in on the sides where the folds go in one direction and push down on the other side where the folds go in the opposite direction and create yourself a, a triangle like this. And you see the two sides pieces are, are pushed in and then these are folded down like that. And this is the this is the base uh, that we will begin with for the model. Now the rest of the folds to make this uh, angelfish are very simple, very few, very few folds. We've only really got um, two more folds to do in order to create the fish. Uh, what you'll be doing is starting out with now your your piece looking like this, and you're going to fold this side over like that and you're folding it um, not all the way to the center you're making your fold um, not all the way on the center portion here and not totally in half like where it, it would line up with that center line you're going to make sure that yours is is overlapping that center line the center line being in there. Does that make sense? Because the next thing you're going to do is then the same the same fold using this flap over top of that one. So when you're finished the triangle here, the point of this little triangle here is at the at the center. If you look at it on the other side, you can see the line from our original fold, and it lines up with that point there. And that's what you want to do. You want to fold it over to the other side because that creates your fish. That's it. Angel fish. I have to say we have some pretty easy ones this weekend and then we have a few that are kind of bizarre coming up. I peeked ahead a bit. Um, be forewarned, uh, later on in the week you're going to need a crisp dollar bill to do one of the origami pieces and, uh, and then toward the end of the week you're going to, we're going to be back using a piece of printer paper. Uh, so uh, keep that in mind. As, as we move ahead through the rest of the week. But um, tomorrow we'll be doing a regular origami piece with a regular or origami square origami piece of paper and it's a nightingale. Um, and it looks to be pretty simple. So we're gonna just go right through these this week, I think. And uh, that's all I have for you today. So enjoy your fish and uh, I'll see you back here tomorrow already Wednesday. Gosh, just whew flying by. So see you then. Take it easy. Bye.